Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so, every good tree bears good fruit and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire, so by their fruits you will know them. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The fruits that are being referred to in this gospel is our good works. That's why the proof of our faith is not based on feelings or attraction, but based on obedience to God's will. We continue to follow the story of Fatima because this is the revelation for our century to enlighten us as we read the signs of the times most especially in these trying days apparitions to sister lucia the new bishop of the restored diocese of leria decided that it was best if lucia was removed from fatima both to spare her from continual questionings she had to endure and to see what effect her absence would have on the number coming as pilgrims. Her mother agreed to her being sent away to school and she left in May 1921 <clears throat> in great secrecy for Porto where a school run by the Sisters of St. Dorothy was situated. Later, she became a sister in his congregation before joining the Carmelites. On December 10, 1925, while at the Dorothean convent in Pontevedra, Spain, Lucia had another apparition of the Blessed Mother, this time with the child Jesus. She had returned to ask for the communions of reparation we now call the first Saturday devotion. As she said that she would, during her July 13 apparition at Fatima, Mary told Lucia to announce that she promised to provide at the hour of death the graces necessary for salvation to those who, on the first Saturday of five consecutive months, confessed, received the Holy Communion, recited five decades of the Rosary, and kept her company while meditating on the mysteries of the Rosaries for 15 minutes with the purpose of making reparation to her. On June 30, 1929, Our Lady returned again as Sister Lucia was at prayer in the convent chapel of Toy, Spain. This time, she appeared alongside a representation of the Holy Trinity. Mary spoke to her, saying, The moment has come in which God asked the Holy Father, in union with all the bishops of the world, to make the consecration of Russia, promising to save it by this means. 
on January 25, 1938, a strange light filled the skies of Northern Europe. It was described as particularly brilliant display of the Aurora Borealis. But Sister Lucia realized it was the unknown light spoken of by Mary during the July 13, 1917 apparition. It meant punishment for the world was closed, principally through the Second World War because it had not turned back to God. Pope John Paul II kneels in prayer at the foot of the state statue of Our Lady of Fatima in Portugal, May 13, 1982, a year to the day after an assailant shot and seriously wounded him. The Pope consecrated the world to Mary at the Fatima Shrine in 1982. Pope Pius XII consecrated the whole world to Mary's Immaculate Heart in 1942 and carried out a similar consecration of Russia in 1952, but neither of these fulfilled Mary's request at Fatima. This collegial consecration, in union with the moral totality of the world's bishops, was finally carried out by St. John Paul II in 1984. Fatima received further papal support when on May 13, 1979, the Pope declared Jacinta and Francisco venerable, the first stage in the process of their possible canonization. St. John Paul II further emphasized the importance of Fatima by beatifying Jacinta and Francisco on May 13, 2000, during the Jubilee year. It was during these beatification ceremonies that all the details of the third part of the Fatima secret were revealed. The third millennium was entrusted to Our Lady of Fatima. On May 13, 2017, during the 100th anniversary celebration at Fatima, Pope Francis canonized Jacinta and Francisco they are the youngest non-martyrs, saints, declared in the history of the church. So, very important gid ang messages ang Fatima. May global siya, universal impact sa aton. That's why pamatian natin siya. Hindi kita mamati-bati sa mga palso ng mga nag-direct sa kalibutan. Kay tao malang na sila. May mga ulterior motives na. Fatima, aton patihan. Kay katoliko kita. Saint Jose Maria. Actually, we have the copy of Novena for the Sick to Saint Jose Maria. Supposed to be prayed at the start of the Novena. Pero tungod sa triduum lang kita, pilion ko de ang quotations niya. Tiling niya de God blesses those who accept His will. Saint Jose Maria says, A wholehearted acceptance of the will of God necessarily brings joy and peace. Happiness in the cross is then one sees that Christ's yoke is sweet and that His burden is not heavy. Jesus suffers to fulfill the will of the Father, and you who also wish to fulfill the most holy will of God, following in the footsteps of the Master, can you complain if you meet suffering as a traveling companion? Are you suffering a great tribulation? Are things going against you? Say very slowly, as if savoring it, this strong and manly prayer, may the most just and most lovable will of God be done, be fulfilled, be praised, and eternally exalted above all things. Amen, amen. I assure you that you will find peace. Siyempre, kung may ginasaligan ka, kaginasaligan mo omnipotent and omniscient, 
kag dako imo pagtuo sa iya words and promises sinabi ang hindi mangin peaceful sa kabuhi our prayer help by the blessed virgin mary may I learn how to accept the will of god with love saying with mary be it done full of faith and love and may i never forget the will of god even when i don't understand it is always a caress from heaven and is for my true good therefore the most perfect prayer i can say is thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven may our lady help our friends and relatives to accept the holy will of god with great faith and love and as the first fruit of that acceptance may they also find peace and experience the truth of the words of jesus my yoke is gentle and my burden is light saint jose maria pray for us please all stand increase in us lord the faith you have given us and bring to a harvest worthy of heaven the praise we offer you at the beginning of this day this we ask through christ our lord amen